Today we're here at Will and Julie Arnott's place, Cooler Creek, uh, just to the east of Cooler. And we're in a project site for the critically endangered Regent honey eater. It's critically endangered at a state level and at a national level. And there are approximately between 350 and 450 birds left in the wild. This is a really, really important project that Central West Local Land Services are running in conjunction and being funded by the National Land Care Program. It's a project that we've been working with the Arnott's for the last 18 months. And one of the biggest aims of this particular project is to try and engage the local community and the broader community as to the plight of this really beautiful bird, the Regent Honey Eater. Hi, my name's Will Arnott. Uh, we're currently uh, at, on Cooler Creek. Um, at the top of the uh, Coolabarragundi River, the gorge area, which is the area that we've designated for the Regent Honey Eater project. The property has always been a sheep and cattle, cattle property. Uh, the focus has been, it was changed from time to time. Once it was more sheep, now it's probably more a, a, a cattle property. Um, and we do run a couple of uh, feral goats here as well. So the Regent Honey Eater project came about actually through a discussion that uh, my wife Jilly had with the local land care provider uh, here in Cooler and Dunedoo. And there was various brochures issued that we, uh, which we studied. And having read up on the information that was provided, I thought, well, this is a very worthwhile uh, project to get involved in, um, considering it is a, an endangered um, species and also we have areas of this place which we really are underutilised, so if there's anything that we could do in terms of utilising that, um, that area for a, a worthwhile uh, cause, such as the Re region honey eater, we thought that was a, you know, a particularly good thing to do. We're very conscious here of making sure that certainly during dry periods we're not um, overstocking the place because we want to uh, look after the environment and the, the natural fauna and flora that, that occur on the place, so it's, it's maintaining, uh, maintaining that balance. We did a, um, a fair bit of analysis in terms of what areas were going to be appropriate. That, I suppose, in a sense, was probably the most tricky component of the project. In conjunction with local land services, we uh, went about and worked out exactly what we needed to do and where we, uh, where we needed to set up. I think the information provided was great. We were keen to actually get involved in something like this. And obviously there were benefits in terms of fencing off areas that we otherwise probably wouldn't have done had we not had that opportunity to do so and put in water infrastructure as well. So there's a lot of wet weather that we've been having, so we had to do a lot of earthworks to begin with in terms of preparing for, for fencing. And then we've done probably around about five kilometres of either new fencing or, or um, repaired fencing around the area. The area that we've enclosed is probably about 100 hectares. There is probably another 100 hectares on the other side of the river, which could be incorporated as well. So it could be potentially much bigger. We've also, having fenced out this area, we've had to put in a new watering system. By fencing off this area we're going to get rid of a lot of the feral animals that have been residing here for quite some time and we've got systems to, to extract them out of this particular project area so we've got goats and deer and pig which will go through a process of eradicating over time. That is obviously going to have a significant impact in terms of the ground cover and also the box trees and the, um, the other trees in this particular area in terms of allowing them to regenerate and improve the overall area. We'll also have a program in terms of controlling the weeds that are in the area as well. So if we get all that right, then obviously the, the environment for the honey eater is gonna be far better. It's been quite a, a major project. For me, uh, I suppose a good outcome uh, albeit unexpected, is that we're now focused on it and we're, we're, um, we're, you know, we're putting in the infrastructure to make sure that um, it is going to survive and I think it's really a win-win in the sense that we're utilising uh, what was you know, essentially unutilised land for a, um, a, a, a worthwhile project that's going to hopefully ensure the survival of an endangered species. The, the major reason for working with landholders, private landholders like Will and Jill, is to protect and enhance this really important habitat for the Regent Honey Eater. And it's not just the Regent Honey Eater, whatever areas of private land and public land that we're able to protect will enhance and provide uh, areas for a lot more of our native bird species and animals uh, as well. <music>